Hi, my name's Chris Carter. I was honoured to be the first out gay MP in the New Zealand Parliament. I came out in 1994 when I was a new MP uh, elected for the constituency of Te Aratu, a very working class district in West Auckland. Over the uh, 18 years that I served at Parliament, I uh, saw a huge transition from being the first, which generated a lot of both praise and, and hostility, <laughs> To, uh, and a lot of media interest to out gay MPs at the New Zealand Parliament now being uh, no big deal, just part of, uh, recognised as part of the, the normal diversity of New Zealand uh, society. I was really pleased uh, to be joined later in the Parliament by my very good friend Georgina Bayer, New Zealand's first and the world's first transsexual MP, uh, and also my colleague Tim, Labour Party colleague Tim Barnett, the MP for Christchurch Central. The three of us were a formidable rainbow team here at Parliament and we still had a number of very uh, reactionary and conservative MPs, uh, primarily in the opposition but also a few of them in our own party as well. But over time that changed. You know, John Banks was my greatest critic when I was elected. He was police minister and I was an opposition MP. Later I became the Minister of Local Government and he was the Mayor of Auckland. When he left that mayoralty he said to me, Chris, getting to know you changed my opinion about gays and, and it made me a much more accepting person. And I guess the message for all of us in those comments from John Banks are that by engaging in the community, by not being in the closet, by being out, we shine light on the fact that, that, the, that the queer community is everywhere in our country and, uh, and is part of our country. And I think that by engaging with people, you uh, create uh, feelings of understanding, uh, feelings of, of brotherhood, sisterhood, and uh, I'm really um, proud uh, that I was the first out gay MP in our parliament, and I'm really glad there are many more that followed me. You know, there were many incidents in, in my career as an MP, and I'm sure my colleagues Georgina Barr and Tim Barnett and others can also attest to the fact that being out and in being in a prominent position as a, an MP it gives you the chance to give the voice to people who felt they had no voice. When I was a government minister, I was the Minister of Housing at the time, I was in Australia and a, a young, I met a young New Zealand woman in a bar there and she said to me, you saved my life. And I said, how could that be? I've never met you before. And she said, you were my local MP. You came to my school during prize giving and I was struggling with my sexuality. I had very religious parents and I had been considering suicide. And she said, I watched you on the stage all night and you were the big man. You were being honored by everybody. You were our local MP and you were a government minister. And I thought afterwards, if it's okay for Chris Carter, it's okay for me. Now that was just one story, but it had a huge impact on me. I thought if all of the hostility that I endured as the first out gay MP, all of that was worth it just for that story alone where that young woman said that I prevented her from committing suicide. And that affected me a lot and made me very proud.